Hey Husker fans, Coach St. Clair here. Um, here with Henry Zimmerman, our school record holder in the weight throw. And we're gonna break down some of the last couple throws from this season. All right, so this first clip is from Graduate Classic. It was the first time I broke the school record. Right here, we have the 35 pound weight and I'm about to do a three turn. The difference between hammer and weight is a hammer is longer and you can four turn it. Whereas a three turn is more usual in the weight throw. At least from my standpoint, like while Henry's walking into the, the circle, you know, you, you see the ball kind of swinging back and forth and that is essentially just kind of setting up a rhythm and a tempo pendulum action of the ball to kind of get a, a nice feeling and beat and rhythm of the entry because the, the entry aspect of the throw is really, really critical and setting up the kind of the feeling of the ball moving just allows for a nice, easy transition into the entry. All right, so this is from our last meet. This is a 2276 throw. Same approach as the last throw. It is a three turn. And you can see, as Coach was mentioning, the uh, swing is called a sling start. And it just helps carry the momentum into the throw. So technically, like when we are looking at going into the throw, one of the, the really important aspects of what we are trying to do, because again, Henry's not only a weight thrower indoor, but a hammer thrower outdoors and the length of the hammer is much different than the length of the weight. So our objective really for my standpoint in coaching is to never get too far away from the technical model of a hammer throw. And what we are really trying to make sure is that we never leave the weight too far behind us, that the weight is always kind of in front of us, essentially kind of what we, what we like to call that is drag. We don't want to drag the ball. So we want to make sure that the ball is with us and that the ball is doing the work and not the body itself. Like essentially Henry's trying to just hold on and stay away from the ball and let the ball turn him. Now often when you start dragging the ball, meaning the ball gets stuck behind you, you start essentially decelerating. The, the objective is to keep the ball accelerating, not only through the turning, but also through the delivery. So when you start seeing actions of, you know, go to the, the delivery sequence. So as you can see, kind of like here, ball's here, body's here. Essentially the ball's being drugged behind him. So to an extent, there's an element of deceleration happening with the ball. And then what you'll see towards the end as the ball is being delivered, you'll see the body kind of falling this way. Ideally what we would see is the body being almost vertical as the ball is passing through the axis of his right side. Um, which would maximize the, the velocity at the end. But what I would say really from a technical side right now, where we are in the season and where we are from a training standpoint, it's still very early in the season. So like meat sharpness is not perfected yet. There's still a lot of, hey, this is one of the first meats. Let's get after it. Let's really see what we can do. So the, the cleanness is not exactly where we want it to be, nor is it where it will be towards the end. So even with very minor mistakes, a lot of great things are happening. The ball is accelerating great. The distances are obviously the best we've ever had at University of Nebraska, so we're pleased with that. But both Henry and myself, we know there's a lot more still to come. So the name of the game right now is just to keep making sure that we can fine tune the technique and continue to let the ball do the job. So one of the you know interesting facts with the weight throw and 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 also the hammer, you know, there, there's such a fine line of strength, balance, posture. It's not just overall strength; it's also positional strength. Because when you are really say when you're outdoors with the hammer, you want to throw 80 meters. You have about over four rotations, roughly seven eight hundred pounds of peer pressure tension being forced on you. So posturally, you have to be able to have enough strength to maintain that posture. And, but at the same time, you need to have enough ball acceleration for it to travel a certain distance. For the indoor, with the weight, um, with the ball being 35 pounds, now the radius of the implement is a little bit shorter. 
uh, but you, you still have 35 pounds. So you're probably looking five, 600 pounds of pure tension that you have to kind of counterbalance to make sure that the ball is accelerating. But again, you have to maintain your posture and your balance for that to kind of happen. So there's a lot of external forces that this implement is training or you know putting on you. So uh, there, there is a fine amount that you, you do have to have strength. You have to have good positional strength, but you also have to have some finesse with it as well. And with that, in a three turn, some of what he was saying with dragging, why it's so difficult is because throughout each turn, if we go back to the start, it's already 35 pounds, which some days feels far too heavy for me. But each rotation, it's adding weight. And the majority of the weight is being built here. And in this position, as you can see, all that force is working against me. So I'm trying to stay upright while turning my hips, while trying to keep the ball in line. But adding the dragging slows the ball down because it's just adding unnecessary force that I have to try and counter on. And, and part of why you see a little bit of this, you know, tape on the shoulder is because it does, it puts a lot of extra stress on the, on the upper body yeah. when you, when you do a little bit of that. If the ball's right here and then this is the axis that I'm trying to turn it around. So if I don't keep it in line with my lower body, my upper body has to take the brunt of the several hundred pounds of force and that's where it can just cause a whole lot of issues and take feet off the throw. So if you back up to the prior throw and then you look at this throw here. So we'll just kind of look at the, the ending piece where where we feel at the current moment there's room for improvement of this, this angle here. We want to see a little bit more of a vertical axis here, which would mean that we have kind of helped reduce the amount of that drag on the throw or pulling or however you would like to describe it. Now, if you look at the next clip, um, a little bit better through the delivery Turk it one more notch, maybe. If you see here, there's a little bit more of a vertical axis here. A little bit cleaner, less of the body falling off here. So the energy that is being transferred is more going directly into the ball instead of splitting vectors of energy. So this is actually my first year back after missing last season to an injury. Um, I had torn a few of my lower abdominal muscles, which is somewhat common in this sport just because we're using our core in such an aggressive way throughout the throw with so much weight countering it. So I basically, we we'll use a circle, tore muscles on both sides that took me out a whole year. So I had to go in, get surgery, have repair down there, and then all summer we did all types of core exercises and rehab to get back to strength to where we could start training again and start getting my body acclimated to handling these forces again. And then the weight kind of accentuates it a bit through the finish because we use our entire back and our hips to harness all the energy of the throw. So we do a lot of power cleans and squats to build the tolerance there and strength. So yeah, so now that now Henry's healthy and he's back on the path of success and you know they, he's done a good job with the rehab portion of it and you know there's there, there's so many moving parts down in the, the you know the lower section through the core through the hips through the abdominals and you know it's 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 at a spot now where the health is strong and the technique is in line with the, the strength levels so Again, a couple little fine tunes, couple sharpening, and um, you know, good things are gonna keep happening. We're, we're not done yet. So before we hit the last clip, you know, currently Henry is sitting third in the NCAA rankings. We're early into the season, um, but boy, his level of consistency is at a really high level. And 
With these events, the, the, the timing and the precision is, is very critical because one millisecond, too early, too late, really changes the path of certain things and the connection of the implement. And again, that connection is what really kind of determines the tension on the ball. The tension is what creates the acceleration. So as we freshen up from, uh, from the, the side of training, sharpening up the technique where the mind and the body are kind of fresh together, uh, you know, hey, it's hard to say where it's going to land, but it's going to land pretty far. All right, so this is our fourth clip, and I believe it is the first record from our first meet of the season. Technically, I'm going to let Coach say what he sees. Great job on the entry, getting the ball ahead. You can start to see, like, um, you know, when it, Henry's entering his second rotation, that he starts starts pulling the ball a little bit early so the direction of, of the, the body's following here. So he's not quite getting the direction towards the throwing direction. Um, but again, he does a great job staying with it, staying committed to it. And although it wasn't like perfect execution, uh, he never lost tension on the ball and he never slowed it down. And thankfully it, it landed further than it's ever landed in, in the history of our program. So, you know, sometimes it's not always exactly how pretty it is. At the end of the day, we measure how far it goes. And right now it's, it's going where we want. No other event in track and field are you throwing a 35 pound ball. Uh, the ball is actually, you know, it's quite heavy. And to get the ball moving at, you know, 28 meters per second or 15 meters per second, whatever that might be, it's very challenging. You you have a access that's outside of you. You you have to learn how to turn from outside in and not inside out. And um, to me, the, the the biggest thing is obviously the the overall weight of the event. It, it, it's substantially heavier heavier than anything else we throw. All right, guys. Well, that's a little look into what I've been up to. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys at the Devaney February second for our Frank Savine. Go Big Red.